Do you feel paralyzed thinking you can't market without money? Worried about competing against the titans of your industry? Feeling lost without a massive ad budget? Are you thinking there must be some other way? You are right. There are six things you can do without a huge marketing budget. Hi, I'm Ankur Sharma, founder of Brand Shark, a creative digital marketing agency which has helped numerous startups in not only setting their business and also scaling with low marketing budgets. And in this video, I'm going to tell you six things you can do without hefty marketing budget. So let's start. The first part is brand communication. Before you start thinking of any kind of marketing, the first step is to define the brand communication. In order to do that, ask a simple question to yourself. Why should a customer purchase your product? Is it material, price, delivery, technology, quality, design or a combination of all? A well-defined communication strategy is vital before you start showing your products to potential customers. A lot of startups fail to recognize the importance of brand communication and go out in the market and start putting money and short duration of time, their budget gets over. In 2019, we began collaborating with a women ethnic wear brand. Their designs were good, the quality was top-notch and their visual branding was decent. Also, they were showcasing a broad variety of style. Yet despite these trends, the startup didn't survive beyond six months. We determined that the main hurdle they faced was in their pricing strategy. Pricing a product is not easy as it sounds. Their pricing wasn't grounded as much as in production cost as was it is in the perceived value of the product. Merely stating that they sold organic clothing wasn't sufficient. Customers don't resonate with such claims unless value is established through effective brand positioning. So before starting any advertising campaign, define a clear brand communication. Next point, identify and re-identify your target audience. Let's say you are starting a clothing brand for women. The target audience might be women age 18 to 45 living in metro cities who are avid shoppers. But consider narrowing it down to the age group of 25 to 35 women avid shoppers living in Bangalore, Pune, Mumbai looking for Excel clothing and falling in the top 50% salary bracket. When you narrow down your TG, you can spend your ad budget with more focus and increase your chances of higher conversion. With a lower budget, you do not target the total addressable market. Instead, identify a small section of that market in which you can deliver value. First, create your name in that segment and once you are recognized, then reach out to a wider audience. The third, education and awareness. Let's say you are launching a new smartwatch brand. Your first instinct would be to run an advertisement and show it to everyone who is looking for a smartwatch one. But do you think these customers are educated enough to differentiate between your watch and Apple Watch? The answer in most cases is the customer is not aware. Before you jump on paid advertising, it is important to educate your customers and make them aware of what is new about your product and what is the difference before focusing on conversion. And in order to do that, create content. For example, if your smartwatch offers sleep tracking, create content on why sleep tracking is important, how to understand sleep patterns, how to track sleep with your smartwatch. Next is trusting organic marketing. A lot of companies and startups ignore the impact of organic marketing tactics like SEO and social media content creation. SEO may take 6 to 12 months depending on the industry and the type of product. But once you get to the point of getting organic traffic, that will last longer as compared to paid ads. You will be seeing regular organic traffic and sales. Also on social media, I don't think you need a big production setup to make content. In today's day and age, just take your mobile and create content. Next, analyze and experiment. Suppose you start an advertisement and the return on advertising spend, your ROS is 1.5, resulting in no profits. Many brands' first instinct might be to switch to a new campaign. The first step should be to identify the reasons of low ROS. Perhaps the campaign was right, but the pricing was high, or the website performance wasn't up to the mark, or maybe customers liked your product but needed a nudge like an offer. Always analyze and experiment with your marketing strategy. Remember, big budgets might seem like an advantage, but real marketing success comes from genuine engagement. Understanding and implementing smart strategies will help you in marketing and those don't always require deep pockets. Craft your success story without breaking the bank. Keep innovating, keep engaging. Until next time.